Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, well, I mean, Jack's waiting for us to <laughs> take him out on another wild adventure. However, we need to go bed first, apparently. Well, hopefully Miss Marston has made uh, enough space for us in the bed. Oh, she's not even asleep. What is the time? Okay, I mean, it's not. It's not super late, so we'll give her a pass. She's probably busy doing woman's work anyway. Whatever the hell that means. Right, well, we can harvest up some goodies. We did expend a lot of ammo there. And we need to save the game again. Because it's still not late enough. Also, Miss Marston. Still not in bed. What does she get up to all night, I wonder? Okay, now we can go. After we've pushed our wife out of the way. Hey, old man. What is going on outside? There's an awful lot of gunfire. Is that Jack? Yep, that's Jack. He's shooting some stuff off the barn. Wolves, dogs, and sons. Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Well, show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. It's kind of odd. The more time we spend with him, uh, he seems to get grumblier. All right, let's go. You thought he'd be, you know, happy that he's getting this father-son time. But you know, I always thought that was a little bit. Uh, strange when it came to the writing. Yeah, the fact that he starts off quite nice then becomes a miserable bastard. It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for it. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. You can't be tired already. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you tell me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. Where are you? Well, you were tearing off like a bat out of hell. What mate. was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Why do you want to know? Oh, it just sounds like a good story, that's all. Come on! <laughs> yeah, sorry your dad died. Sounds like a great story. <laughs> Fucking hell. You can find him, Rufus! There you go. Yeah, Rufus is a good old boy. He's picked up a scent. Come on, buddy. Come Where on. are they at? We can't stop now. We're not stopping now. now. Waiting for Rufus. And you just ran our Easy. dog down. Yeah. Good thing he's got one of them bendable spines. Find us a wolf, whoa, whoa. We're gonna go carve the wolves up. That's a good boy. Whoa there. Make some money on them, might as well. It's all we'll about money in the Wild West. But I mean it's all about money all the time. Uh, I guess some things never change. Go get him, boy. Yeah, I'm on Rufus. There they are. Ooh. Good boy, Rufus. I was gonna say, where are they? I can't see shit. Come on. Shoot the wolves. Oh, we absolutely have the wrong weapon equipped for this. You know what? That will do. Give a couple in you. Couple in you. 
couple for you. Oh, God, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. All right. Well, now it's a good thing we did take the boy with us. All right, let's get rid of those. And there's another one. Good thing we have those magical homing bullets. You're done. Last one. Good thing we had a decent weapon, in all fairness. Good work, son. Go on now, Rufus. Find the rest of them. The rest what of them? Here? We be going? Yeah, we're just taking a little sunshine for the farm, boy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that was nearly a disaster, I'll be honest. But Rufus, he knows the way. What we got left in the tank? We got plenty. Plenty of bullets for wolves. We got Rufus. What you got? Let's go. He's gonna go find a bear, isn't he, or something? What you found, boy? That's it, boy. Easy. The best doggo there ever was. Where are they, Rufus? He's sniffing. Tanner's reach, eh? Yeah, there generally was some wolves around here. Every time we was up looking for bears, there were wolves around here. Also, a lot of bears around here as well. If I ever had a dog, I'd want it to be like Rufus. Oh, hello. I just trod on... Uh, ooh. These are unusual wolves. These are way more aggressive than they usually are. <laughs> That's okay. Your old man's a machine. Just, let's not shoot Rufus by accident. Come on. That looks like Nice work, Jack. We just like murdered them all. We should head back now. We got out further than I thought. What are you doing? I'm skinning a wolf. Last still. You gotta take your trophy, Jack. Make it worth it. You what are you see? waiting for? Let's get moving. How many do we kill? Uh, we have to rock out for a while. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by Pa? What are you doing? Let's go. Uh, you Hold absolutely on, man, can't go out uh, you by yourself. One step at a time. Ah, oh, please, Pa. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. I reckon I can kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. <laughs> kill a bear. Oh, can I ask you something? Of course. Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted out a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. You know, we could be outlawed, you and me. <laughs> all we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. What arm will it? That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. You're on a jack marks. Those wanted men in the West. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right. Jeez. I was only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Come on. Well, let's hope he takes that wise advice to heart, shall we? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, son. I bet you thought I was about to leave you again, huh? Yeah, your horse is kind of lame there, son. We need to sort that out. Get you a decent horse. 
One with a turbo or something. Or maybe you keep your reading and your writing scratching away at those books. You may become so wealthy you can afford one of them there motor cars. That's if them there motor cars ever catch on, of course. I've got my doubts, personally. Anyway, home sweet home. There's uncle, useless fetcher. He's been sleeping under the tree again. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Alright. Done and done. Alright. Okay, so after a quick break, let's continue working with our son, shall we? Seems to be the right thing to do. As long as we can, that is. Uh, nope. Of course we can't. How silly of me. Only four o'clock. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> Being lazy, no less. Seems to be the start of the time. Right. Might as well grab as much ammo as we possibly can. <clears throat> and it's definitely... Yeah, <laughs> we're going to have to sleep at least another two times. Yep, I really wish they um, would add in these Rockstar games a better way of passing the time because this just seems awfully inefficient to say the least. Ah, hello wife. she coming to bed or she, I think she's actually coming to bed. At quarter past four in the morning. Well, they do say a woman's work is never done. Right, now, let's go find the boy. Ooh, maybe not. That's fine. We can trash the place a little bit. Give our wife something to do all day. Right, let's go see what the boy... Has got planned for today's adventure. Spare the something. John, John. What is it, old man? It's Jack, the kid, the kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. <laughs> this is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. In all fairness, he did come and warn us, so... You know. Let's go! Alright, this is bad. Come on, Rufus. <laughs> Let's go find our stupid boy. All right. Come on, Rufus. You know, Rufus is doing his best. All right. Come on, easy up now. I don't want nobody taking anything out on Rufus. Is the old man not coming? Where's Jack? Yeah. In all fairness, maybe we shouldn't have filled his head with so much nonsense. That's it. Good boy. Yeah. Come on, Rufus. What you got, boy? He's found him. Yeah, he's got him. 
can probably smell a big fat bear. Hurry, Rufus. Probably a uh, grumpy one. That's okay. If we're gonna be hunting a burr, we're gonna want a weapon of unimaginable power. Come on, boy. Where is it? That's all right, John. Rufus is doing his best. He's a good old boy. Let's try not to trample on Rufus, shall we? Come on, Rufus. Find Jack. He's looking. He's on it. Old Rufus. He's the unsung hero of the Marston family. Find Jack, Rufus. <laughs> Oh, he's found someone. Oh, this is up to the bear pass. Can the bear cave. I'm guessing. Careful, Midnight. I'm guessing. He's going all the way up here. Got into the bear cave. And decided to be a big man. And got himself nearly killed. many a burrow before and we'll take his hide or maybe not I guess what the hell were you thinking going off on your own you're just a boy no I'm not I can skin an elk break horses come on let's get you home yeah he's been duffed up pretty bad He's one hell of a Hold mess. Tight. Oh. You all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive. You're not leaving me here, boy. are you? But hell, Jack's uh, tell horses. You about going off by yourself. Keep going, Pa. I want to get home. <laughs> Jack's horse I is also dead. Plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. Wow. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Of course, it's lost its job. I ain't going anywhere. Oof. Believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Why are we stop? Right, come on, Jack. Get on. Come on, Rufus. Let's go home. And you have a bear steak for what you've done. Nice big juicy bear steak. Yeah, we're not going nowhere, What's your Jack. Mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. <laughs> what would bones. you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. Ooh. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Come on. Yeah, sometimes the horse doesn't always steer, like, at all. You push the analog stick and nothing happens. I have noticed that a couple of times in this game. Go. All right. Going so. after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. But your ma and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. 
You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over in church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Ma pretend like nothing happened. We just want a better life for you, son. The rest. We'll have you home soon. Come on! Well, those scars, um... Well, they didn't come from doing anything nefarious. Let's go! I guess that part of the story wasn't actually written yet. <clears throat> as much as, uh... Yeah, I'm sorry to be almost at the end of this game. I am looking forward to finally getting my teeth stuck into Red Dead 2. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. I don't know. Being an adult, double-edged sword, tight. Sometimes I'd rather go back to being a kid for a little bit. But then I remember I'm an adult. So I can do whatever the fuck I want when I want. And you know. That ain't as bad Easy. as I sometimes get deluded in thinking. Anyway, we're on 21 minutes here. We're going to leave it here, actually. Uh, we still got some missions for Jack to do. This is interesting. I didn't think there was that many missions for Jack. But um, we'll handle those next time. So thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.